too scared to put the heating on. 13 million households not heating their homes when it's cold due to energy bill fears, which warns. This is dated the 22nd of August 2023. Millions of UK households are at risk of becoming ill because they are not switching on their heating when it is cold, which warns. As Ofgem prepares to announce this next energy price cap. A rich survey of 4,000 people found high energy bills have put huge financial, physical and emotional strains on consumers. With nearly 9 in 10, 85% households trying to cut back on their energy uses. Nearly half of those surveyed, 46%, said they did not turn their heating on when it was cold last winter. This equates to a shocking 13 million estimated households nationwide. Sitting in freezing temperatures at home can put people at high risk of developing respiratory and cardiovascular diseases like asthma attacks, infections, heart disease and strokes. This is especially concerning given that 4 in 10 the percent of the surveyed are worried that the ability to regain recover from illness is now worse than before the cost of the crisis began. A woman within our soul, <coughs> excuse me, A woman with an household income of less than £15,000 said it has a negative impact on all my aspects of my life. I'm really struggling. We're always cold at home, but I'm too scared to put the heating on. Another woman with an annual household income of less than £10,000 said, I have multiple disabilities, one being fibromyalgia, and I cannot afford to put any form of heating on, which is causing increased pain, it's excruciating and therefore affecting everything I do. Which research has all found that some consumers, such as lower income households and those aged 45 to 64 year olds are more likely than others to not turn on the heating on when it's cold. Half of our folks are less than 20,000, 50, 20, 51% are not turning the heating on when it comes to when it is cold compared to a third of 30% of households with annual incomes of more than £80,000. Nearly half of households with annual incomes of £20,000, £45,000, 46% and just under 45% of households on 45,000 said they did not turn the heating on when it's cold. That's a lot of people who've got a lot of money who just aren't putting the heating on. The marked difference between households is the highest income band of more than £8,000 and the next highest income band of £45,000 just show how bad the energy crisis has been for lower and middle income households. Those aged 45, 65 years old are more likely than other age groups not to turn heating on in cold weather. This is probably because the age group is likely to have more financial responsibilities than the younger age groups, such as dependent children, but unlike old age old groups, are not eligible to access pension savings. Consumers also reported taking other extreme actions to cut energy costs. Over half, 54%, reported wearing extra layers at home. Four in 10, 41%, they are reducing how often they use the oven. And the third, 33%, are cutting the number of baths or lengths of showers they take. Which is clearly, which research clearly demonstrates just how many consumers have had to make severe cutbacks to afford their energy bills putting their own health at risk in the process. Even with the recent drop in energy prices, bills are still most, almost double what they were before the energy crisis. With Ofgem poised to announce the October energy price crap on Friday and as winter approaches when energy uses increase, the government and energy firms need to take action to help customers who are struggling to eat men's eat. A properly targeted social tariff, which is a discount energy for those most in need, is desperately needed. to ensure energy affordability for those who need it most. Recent citizen advice proposals have shown how a social tariff could be designed to 
effectively target support where it is most needed. This will be based on both household income and energy uses without creating a cliff edge based on benefits eligibility, which is calling for the government to introduce a social tariff along those lines as soon as possible. The 2022 Orton Statement committed to having a new approach to consumer protection, such as in place by needs to take action on this as a matter of urgency, in place by April the 2024, and the government needs to take action on this matter urgent of urgency. The consumer champion is always calling on energy companies to do they can to to all sort of customers, ensuring that customers are fit for per prioritising additional prepayment customers is smart me to roll out and can easily access future support and taking steps to clarify our bills on other communications so customers clearly understand any changes to their bills. Emily Seymour, which energy ed editor said, it's hugely concerning that an estimated 13 million households have not switched the heating on when it's cold due to fears of high energy bills. Our research shows that certain groups such as lower income households and families with children are more likely to in cold this winter. The government and energy firms need to act now to help those most in need and help ends meet over the winter. The government must introduce a properly targeted social tariff as soon as possible and energy firms must ensure the customer, support, the customer services are equipped to properly support customers over the winter. And it goes on. But that's about it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.